At the heart of Jody Wilson-Raybould's story is that she lost her job as Attorney General because of SNC-Lavalin. That I stated I believe the reason was because of the SNC matter. They denied this to be the case. I firmly believe that nothing inappropriate occurred here and nothing inappropriate was alleged to have occurred until after the cabinet shuffle. Jerry Butt sent notes and text messages to the Justice Committee to bolster his claim. Text related to a December 5th meeting where their testimony is at odds. Minister Wilson-Raybould solicited the meeting with me. She also raised the subject with me. I wanted to speak about a number of things including up bringing up SNC and the barrage of people hounding me and my staff. We parted that meeting as friends and colleagues and exchanged personal text messages a couple of hours later. I wrote, nice to see you. She replied, nice to see you too. Thanks for the convo. Please say hello to the PM. The texts from that night are as but said. No obvious signs of tension, no mention of SNC. A follow-up text from Wilson-Raybould on December 11th doesn't mention it either. On January 7th, the Prime Minister called Wilson-Raybould on vacation in Bali to discuss the cabinet shuffle. Butts listened in and took notes. I feel I'm being shifted out of justice for other reasons, Butts quotes her as saying. We would not be doing this if it weren't for Scott's decision, Trudeau replies, referring to Scott Bryson's resignation from cabinet. I don't agree, she replied. That's not how we change people's lives. There's no mention of SNC in Butts' notes or in the text exchange that followed, though Wilson-Raybould raised objections. At the time, Indigenous protesters were blocking a gas pipeline. She raised this, not SNC. Pushing me out, which will be the perception whether true or not, is terrible. It will be confounding and perplexing to people. This is not about me. This is about an approach to Indigenous peoples. The bulk of the text show the minister and Butts trying to connect across multiple time zones. The tone seems cordial, but on January 12th, it changes. What is being proposed is a mistake, she texts. There is no way to fully explain this. My eyes are wide open on this shift. The night before the shuffle, she follows up. No, I will be prepared for tomorrow, and I know why this is happening. Butts replies. Yes, you do, because the PM told you why this is happening. We plan on saying the truth. Scott's departure left a large hole. At no point in these text exchanges does she directly mention SNC or a DPA, two things Ottawa hasn't stopped talking about since. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa.